the grimoire guide instruct the magician on how to work with the powerful lowers of death and sexuality. By activating the points charge they become a dwelling for the lower of the guide family. The magician is then able to be in constant contact with them, by calling them forth through sexual magic methods, and are then able to use their guidance in any magical endeavor that they choose to pursue. In order to be called within the inner order, the lower of the grimoire guide must personally grant passage. The Voodoo Gnostic Workbook lists 40 loa, each one focused upon an area of specialization. Each loa is contacted utilizing a sigil unique to itself. There are inner teachings which may be revealed to the magician by the loa. One essential point is how the magician may map the consciousness network. This may be used to contact a particular loa on the inner planes of the Gud universe. Spider magic is the term used to denote sexually based rituals associated with the voodoo rites of the Grimoire Gude. This originates from an inner plane base known as the Rites of Zom, and draws its energies from the Zothirian system. Berto has conjured the Deep Ones mentioned in the Necronomicon. The LCN was directed from Leagain Haiti in the 1960s. The monastery is the outer court of the LCN and is an inner order within the OTOA. It functions as the gatekeeper between the known universe and the alternative universe, Mion. Kornzen is interpreted as a source of dynamic negation. Astral lycanthropy involves the voltigers and traversing the backside of the tree on one leap. The magician assumes the form of a wolf on the astronaut. In this realm the magician encounters predator human and extra human intelligences and experiences atavistic powers to an accelerated degree. Through methods of esoteric engineering, Berto has built magical machines capable of receiving transmissions from trans yagothian realms. In the Voodoo Gnostic system, select female initiates serve as furies, which are similar to the Scarlet Woman in a Crowleyan sense, and serve in rituals which explore primal levels of elemental consciousness. The Zothereometer is a device which is able to alter magnetic fields of energies with the astral, and through manipulating a pair of specific vectors of power zones, a vortex of energy is produced. This concentrated force may be focused at will, by the magician. The Medallum Instrumentum is a magical machine which is able to transfer magical energies from one point to another designated point. There are four levels or grades within the LCN, Tet, the Initiate, Kenzo, Servitor, Haugen, Priest and Bailgi, Hierophant. Each level has a specific magical machine associated with it. Kenzo uses astral machineries, Haugen uses mental machines, and the Hierophant uses intuitional machines. Certain American adepts use purely physical machines in their practice. One level gives instruction on lycanthropy. Another machine used is the Meroirophantastique or Quailune which is composed of fourth dimensional materials used to transmit energy streams in the astronaut. The physical power zones represented in the OTOA are situated in Ecuador, Leogane Haiti, Madrid, London, Chicago, and New York. A symbol used by LCN initiates as a focal point is called the liberation symbol and is a mandala representing a fourth dimensional cube. Through meditation upon this symbol, one may allow one's astral body to cross into an alternative dimension. Through activation of the 16 power centers located in the genital region, the corresponding 16 chakra centers in the brain may be opened. Berto and a group of initiates make frequent trips to a deserted lake in Wisconsin, which is known as a Cthulhu power zone, to evoke the Deep Ones. This is a portal where these other dimensional beings may congress with members of Berto's assembly. 
Vudan Gnosis by David Beth is a revision and expansion of the chapter into the Mion, contained in the book Howlings. It was written for the practitioner of sorcery, and the Gnostic alike. Its focus is the esoteric Vudan system of the Vudan Gnostic workbook. To understand and fully appreciate the system, the student should open the mind to the non-rational. To comprehend many of the more advanced chapters within the Vudan Gnostic workbook, readers should study the coursework provided in the four-year course on the Monastery of the Seven Rays. The monastery is a separate and independent entity, but is the instructional body for the OTOA and LCN. The materials given in the course of magical instruction may appear incomprehensible, but they are not to be fully understood by the rational mind, and may require contemplation and reflection to integrate with one's magical body to gain further insight. The system has been developed by Berto over many years, with assistance from higher order beings, and utilizes keys and methods which leads the student to a Vudan Gnostic transformation in consciousness. These keys must be reintegrated by the initiate, to create one's own magical world for oneself, rather than merely emulating that of the teacher. This system is one of Gnosis, or in other words, knowing with certitude. The courses and the Vudan Gnostic workbook offer many deeper layers of meaning to the initiate of the Vudan Gnostic orders, they are able to receive feedback and added esoteric instruction by their mentors, whereas the uninitiated reader of Vudan Gnostic workbook must tread the territory through sheer tenacity. The Vudan Gnostic workbook and the course of the Monastery of the Seven Rays does not comprise the secrets of the order, but rather is composed of teachings and ritual work of the order, as well as a collection of Berto's eclectic spiritual insights, culled from intensive explorations in philosophy, theosophy, and other spiritual and magical pursuits. The LCN is a specialized group within the esoteric Vudan, and is highly elemental in nature, the low associated with the LCN choose who has the potential to become a member. These writings detail the gateways between consensual reality and the esoteric universe inhabited by the Loa. The Gnostic interpretation of Christ in the LCN correlates to Dambala and Legma. This energy reserve associated with Christ may be tapped into and used for the occultist's ritual work towards a given goal. Other religious systems such as Hinduism and Shinto are integrated into Vudan Gnostic workbook, but it is from an esoteric interpretation which coheres with other aspects of esoteric Vudan. Elemental sorcery and methods established for contact with elementals, often through means of sexual magic, is dealt with in the Vudan Gnostic workbook. One method of gaining entry into the esoteric world is called La Prise de U which gives the initiate the ability to see the magical spiritual universe which exists behind the physical world. There is a strong connection between the Vudan system and Norse mythology, and both are directly evolved from Atlantean origins, and contain much from this ancient font of arcane wisdom. Both Beth and Berto cite Ludwig Lages as an influence, and derive much from his esoteric philosophy. Cosmic Gnosis, which is a magical order established by David Beth, focuses on experiencing the soul directly in a Dionysian ecstasy, this is known as Eros Cosmogonos. In Berto's magical system it is called the mysteries of the body of Osiris Legba, and the black red rays. It represents an awakening of the true essence of the soul. Originally the monastery functioned as an entity independent of the OTOA presently it functions as a source of instruction on basic OTOA training. For some readers, lucky Hudu may serve as an introduction to acquaint oneself with the Hudu spirits associated with the Vudan Gnostic system. Vudan Gnosis has its roots in the esoteric Haiti Vudan tradition, and also incorporates esoteric masonry and sorcery. Berto is also the head of a Gnosticus spiritualist. 
The third year monastery course deals extensively with esoteric engineering. Vodan Gnosis is not limited to understanding with the rational mind, and requires reconstructing the concepts into one's magical universe, in order to bring it to life. Many schools of thought are represented within the Vodan Gnostic workbook. Both the Vodan Gnostic workbook and the Monastery Correspondence courses are geared toward the beginner. The level of acuity in occultism and magical philosophy will certainly come in handy for the casual reader, who is not an initiate in the Vodan Gnostic system, there is nothing dogmatic about the teachings of the monastery. Its methods used involve teaching by example, and allowing the student to build a body of one's own experiences which construct a web or an occult framework which is added to one, as he progresses. It eventually will lead the student to a Gnostic enlightenment by following the Vodan system. It incorporates some aspects of the Lemic thought, mystic Catholicism, theosophy, and Martinist method, and is in fact, a meta-system of initiation.